What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Edmonton Oilers and we're coming up into the draft very heartbreaking end to our season losing in game six of the Stanley Cup finals to the Philadelphia Flyers Carter Hart and his squad got the better of ours but yeah we gotta move on time for the draft here so we're going to check to see if I want to pin. Oh, my goodness. A couple franchise goalies. <laughs> we could get our hands on one or both of those. Probably at least go for one. I'll probably l let someone else grab another one. I don't want. I don't necessarily want to. I know trade value, blah, 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 but still. I'll, I'll, I'll make it easy for the computers sometimes. I don't think we're going to have a pick here in this range, but I don't think we, think we had a first this year, did we? Uh, I'm pinning them anyway. Because if we do, why not? I can't remember the exact picks that we uh, ended up with. I feel like we didn't have a first and we like stocked up on seconds. Anyway, if that is the case, though, this is good news right here. 39, 44, and 51. Wow, a full line. Center, left wing, right wing. Power forward, grinder. Okay, a third line, but <laughs> a line nonetheless. There we go, and a bunch of later picks as well. Actually, we got some really good scouting this year. Yep, I'd, I'd consider this a very successful year scouting. So now, we shall check out the retirements, because I think that's all I want to scout there. We'll see who's biting the dust. And it's Evgeny Malkin, Gatslav as well, Parise, age 39, the lot of them, except for Malkin. He could have still played, he's 85, at least one more year at age 37. At least, I mean, it's probably two. He's great. He got two years less left in him on, like, second and third line. All right, Parise, Bobby Ryan, Suter retire. Oh, so Suter and Parise retire at the same time. Nice. Bufflin, who was on Washington. Okay, all these kind of make sense for retirements so far. And I don't think we'll see anything out of the ordinary, except for Malkin, obviously. But I don't know. Maybe he's got injury history. By this point. All right. We'll scroll through the rest of the names. You guys can take a look at them. Looks like Alex Martinez in there. All right. Not bad. And goaltenders. Let's see. Let's see who it is this year. Yep. I was figuring some of these guys would be popping up soon. Quick. Heading out. Good career numbers. Not quite 400 wins. He ended his career in Vancouver, apparently. All right. Not too bad of a career, though, for Quick. Dubnik also biting the dust. And usually goalies make sense when they retire. You rarely see someone, like, still with a starter potential left in them, retiring on the goaltender end of things. All right, so there we go. All done. And now we have to, I guess, take a look at the awards and be reminded once again that although we tried so hard and got so far, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Philadelphia Flyers win the Stanley Cup. Ugh, we win the president's too. Oh, they won it last year. And the, oh my god, the curse. The curse is back. Hold on. It was Uh Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, I was like, holy shit, wait, did. Nope, but it was Calgary. Alright, uh <laughs> anyway. I was just seeing if the president's curse was like because it was it was real for the last two. Philadelphia won the presidents, and I believe they lost in the Stanley Cup that year. Oh no, 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 they didn't, because that's Carolina, my bad. Never mind. I'm never mind. Let me just delete everything I just said. All right. Uh, Art Ross went to McDavid. Hart Memorial went to McDavid. Uh, Norris went to Boakvist. Bing, the Lady Bing to Goodrow. Calder Lawrence. Farabee got the Conn Smythe. Uh-oh. Uh, Brassois with the Vesna. <laughs> and the William M. Jennings. Uh, Haig with the Masterton. Selkie to O'Reilly again. Jeez. Four out of the last five. Uh, Ted Lindsay to McDavid. And Maurice Richard went to Johnny Gaudreau. All right. But still, McDavid, Gaudreau, taking home uh, the hardware. Alberta coming in coming in clutch. But now, it's time for the draft. We had a great year, and I've been thinking a lot about the whole Kako situation. And him doing what he did in the playoffs has got me thinking. And uh, combined with, uh, damn it, I had the name, and then I forgot it. Uh, I've been talking a lot about Kako. He, he's the one who's, who's putting up good arguments for keeping Kako. And the most recent one 
I actually like a lot. It is, uh, what if we got rid of Nuge instead and turned Kako into a third line center? Now, at 88 overall, you're probably thinking, that's kind of, I don't know how that's going to work. You know, he might even grow a little bit more. He's listed as second line, though. That is a good thing. But he's got 75 face-offs. And if you take a look at Nuge, he has 76 face-offs. It's not that big of a difference. And Nuge, as I recall, usually doesn't have the best defensive numbers. Yeah. Not really. Those aren't great defensive numbers. He's down to an 82 right now, too. Um, <laughs> but when you take a look at Capo Caco, I'm going to talk about that. I don't know if I'll make the trade now. Um, probably not. But I don't think we need to rush it at the draft. But, we, I mean, it's five, like the contract. Nuge is being paid 4.5. Caco is going to be paid five for five or for six years. That, while, yes, it's up there for a third-line center, especially considering the cap, is only... 500,000 more than we were playing. Now, we might be a team that really, really needs that 500,000, but I don't know. With uh, with the Spencer with the Spencer Knight contract we're having kick in next year at this price for this long, if he turns out to be a big number one for us, which is looking like he kind of is, he, he still gets another jump. I mean, then we're already saving some money there. So there's a possibility. Is what I'm trying to say. And I think it could really work out like that. I'd really like Kako's numbers in that regard. So if we can swing that, I think that's what we'll do. Because why the hell not? All right, let's see what this top five has in store. I just wanted to talk about that a little bit here at the beginning of the video. Before we get too far into the draft, 80 overall left wing playmaker to uh, Toronto with their first overall pick. Second overall defensive defenseman, Nashville, Comrie. Looking good, 77 offensive defenseman. Hard to kind into uh, Columbus. Uh, Twoman into uh, the Isles and the Rags select Corpac ooh Corpacari a top six medium at fifth overall did they make did they make a blunder here wait a sec I thought oh, or did it just drop to holy shit I thought damn I dropped off quick I thought for sure there's five elites because there usually is every year maybe I just ignored it let's see how the rest of this top ten there oh my god. What did that guy, what was wrong with him? I can't see, it says a consummate professional, a player you would want someone to meet, to model their personality on. Did, what the hell? I Yeah. Holy hell, dropping to eighth overall, an offensive defenseman right-handed. Huh, what a steal right there for Montreal. Very surprised he dropped that far down and back to the top sixes. So it must have said something about him on the scouting report, and I just didn't look at it. Because usually that's the only reason why teams will pass up on someone that much. That's a little bit insane. All right, we got to see where our pins are in accordance to where our picks are. I think our first pin was coming at 39. I'm just going to double check that. Oh, well, 17 doesn't count because we don't have a pick there. I can just get rid of him. Yeah, 39, 44, and 51. That's, that's what we want to go after here. 49, 39. 44 and 51 here. Do we have... Oh, no, yeah, we only have two seconds. Okay, so we have 50 and 61. I kind of want to move up. We're not going to grab anything with the 66, so let's... I want to try to move up here and grab 30, something around 39. If I can get two of those guys, I'll be happy. Which I should be able to do. Yeah, and I'm at the point now, I just want that trade value. That's what we're trying to get here. All right, sorry about that. Just had to, uh, I just keep forgetting to turn my damn notifications off is what it is. <laughs> All right, um, we're going to go up to the next round here because I want to see, I want to get a better idea where they're lining up here. So 39 is right here. I should trade above for it. Will one of these teams want to give it up? That's the question because the second round is it's still difficult. People, if they're up here, usually want their picks. Well, they got the 38th, and that is probably the best bet here. I don't think he'll go that far out of order. Well, if Minnesota wants to give up that, they'll likely want to give up this. It is more trade value, though. The 36th. Quite a bit more. Now, if we're going to go for quality over quantity here, 
we have to use oof. yeah we'll have to use our picks to the best of our advantage I don't think I'll be able to make then mm. that should work actually hmm yeah that should work I'm gonna I'm gonna just go for it yeah they accepted it cool let's get that I just want to pick up the elite We'll do that. Let's actually look back in round one, see if there's any other steals that we may or may not have missed. There's one right there. Center playmaker at 15th overall. Was that the guy I had? I believe that was the guy projected to go at 17. Yep. So, yeah, he went two spots above. There we go. All right. Well, we secured ourselves the 36th overall pick, which we can grab another guy. And we also have the 50th. That will have to be sufficient for the elites right there. I'm not going to be able to grab all three. And you know what? There are plenty more in the later rounds that we could snag, including guys, you know, these sorts of guys. I want to save the rest of my picks for all that. So a couple, couple low elites here, and that's it. Now I can decide basically between uh, the grinder for the other one or the other power forward, two power forwards. I might actually want a low elite grinder, to be honest. So I think I'm actually going to grab him. Puck protection, strength, and balance. Pretty decent. I mean, I wish it had some, like, defensive zone play or something like that, but... Oh, well. It's still worth taking a gamble on, I think. Anyway, let's sim up to our pick here. Nothing crazy went. No blind steals. And now we'll grab probably this power forward first. Center power forward. Goal scoring knows for the net puck protection. He's going to start off pretty decent overall as well. And should mesh well in any locker room. Good. 17 years old. I'm really liking it. Ricky Wall. Get on this team. There he is. 63. Yep, pretty decent overall. I mean, at 17 years old in the second round, you're 63 overall, low elite. Yeah, you're, he's pretty much a guaranteed third liner right here. At least. So, solid. All right, and our next one is right here. And that's at like 40... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now, now I confuse my... I gotta check the pick again. I think it's at 50, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the second one. <laughs> I don't actually don't have the choice. That's right. I was looking at that wrong. All right. Anyway, we're going to go up to our next pick here. We're losing out on the grinder after all. But I liked that guy's overall a lot better than the grinders. I, just was, I was blinded by it. And this guy, too. He's actually ridiculously solid. Another kind of goal scoring type guy. So they're both better than the grinder. So let's just snag this guy because he should still be a power forward. Uh, 65 overall. Yeah, what was the other guy? Oh, that wasn't even him. Hold on. That was him. Okay, yeah, they're all around the same overall. Huh. I don't know why he seemed lower. Why did he seem... Oh, because I, I think because I was the physical categories that I don't normally look at. I didn't really... Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, we got two low elites here. And now we'll probably start going off the pin list. Just kind of out of order because there's so many. And we got to start on them now if we if we want to grab all or as many as we can get. I'm not going to do any more like trading up or anything like that. So I should probably start right now. Grab him, grab him, grab him. We're not going to have enough picks for all of them. But we're going to get as many as possible. And we're going to grind right here. Medium elite grinder. Who's not going to be... Oh, he's also injury prone. Not looking great. Maybe some trade value. We'll see. 19 years old. He's not going to be great overall. He's definitely, yeah, he's definitely looking like a trade asset. But nonetheless, pretty damn good trade asset to pick up in the third round. Now on to the fourth. Any steals popping up that we do not have? Oh, there's one. 60 overall. Roach. Uh, medium elite. Two-way forward center. 19 years old. All right, all we need is a guy named Soap, and we are in business. Let's go. All right, here we are with the 123rd pick, which we will grab this guy at 138. Franchise goaltender. I could literally get both the goaltenders, but I might pass on him just to grab some of these other guys and to give the computer someone. All right, which one do I want more? They're both gems. This guy has better strengths. 
and better overall. So we're going for him. Josh, Josh Celios, Celios, Celio Cantos. <laughs> um, please, I hope I hope some of you out there watch American Dad and weren't just wondering what the hell I just kind of sang. You better know that damn thing. The episode, the bully, Obergauer. I'm just gonna stop talking. Um, that's pretty decent. Depends on his age. Hold on. What if he's 19? That'd be hilarious. Eh, he's 18. Could be. Could be on the wrong side of 18. I want to see. Because I thought I saw something. Never mind. I thought I saw something weird pop up there when I was simming. But no, it's a 70. All right. Back to it. 128th pick. As I said, we could grab the grab the other franchise goaltender. But I'm going to let the computers have it. And I believe these are we're down to our last three picks anyway. And we can still get a, a low elite grinder. Week on face-offs, what else is new? All the centers late round will have weak face-offs. Ooh. Don't want to miss out on him. He does... Why does this guy not have a gem next to him? Okay, he is 19, but still. This guy seems like a freaking steal. Alright, anyway, let's grab all three of these guys. And pass up on the front. We'll, we'll let a computer get a franchise goalie. We'll see how good they get. Actually, I think I could have grabbed him. Because we're in the fifth round. I, th I actually think I should have a... Now I'm tempted to grab him because I actually have enough picks to grab everyone I want. Three picks left. Two. Oh my god, I could get them all. Now I'm tempted. I, you know what? I'm still going to let a computer have a franchise goalie. <laughs> I'm still going to do it. That's just That's just too much value. Uh, I, would, I, don't, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I could grab a... We can go for a blind pick here. Oh my god. You know what? I'm going to get the high starter. Holy hell. I've ne You know what? I'm, I'm going to get him because I've never actually had one. <laughs> so there we go. Got a high starter. We're, we're snagging that guy. Yeah, we could have had the franchise. But... I'm going to let a computer get a franchise. I want to see what the computer does with the franchise. Speaking of which, which computer got the franchise? Ugh. Apparently he was in this round. What? There he is. Holy shit. All right. So, oh, damn it. I should have grabbed him. Fucking Vegas. Ugh. All right. I'll take that L then. If any, it, it was, it'd be fine if any, literally any other team got him. Fine. All right, let's go for Cassian now. Tucker Cassian. That's a tough name. We need another Cassian on this squad. 60 overall. Did I have the age right? Okay, yeah, 19. 60 overall, 19. Not bad, not great. And last but not least, with our 216th pick, we shall grab that low elite sniper and call her a day. Jacques, <laughs> Jacques Parks. Very, very... uh. Yeah, just very French. I, I'm, I'm interested to see what his overall is going to be. Because he got A, B minus B. And then the rest are like normal Cs. But goal scoring, offensive and six foot speed. That is some great traits to have. Or those are some great traits to have, I should say. Let's let's snag him. 68 overall. That, what a, wow. What a pick. That really is a great pick right there. I mean, damn. Even if he's about to turn 20, he's almost 70 overall. Jesus, all right, great. Great stuff, what Philly get? They got a low top six, because they're trash. All righty. And there is our draft selections for this draft. Pretty damn good. I gave up some value for the franchise 10 DS, but I, 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 I thought that I wouldn't be completely boned and some, I could, I would enjoy some team work, you know, with a franchise goaltender. But alas, oh, hello. Not only a division rival in this game, and our franchise got it, but a team I don't like got it. That hurts. That hurts real bad. Anyway, we're going to get back. Oh, what am I doing? Wrong way. We're going to get back most of these guys. Look how much he's asking for to be a scout. <laughs> 300,000. Holy shit. Yeah, that guy was asking for bank compared to everyone else. What the fuck? <laughs> 
I guess because he's a pro scout. Who knows? All right. What else? Who's this? Ebel. Hey, pff, that's fine for that. Could maybe get a better league. I should. I should release one of them because you want to find maybe something better. But the Ebel as a B is fine. Tiny league and everything else is pretty much fine. I guess I'll get rid of the league guy. Who knows? Definitely want to keep an A minus WHL scout. But I guess I don't know. I'd like to see what's there. Could do the Russia one and hope for a better one, but that's pretty rare. Yeah, we'll release the Liga one. Oh, oh my God! Why? Why can't this? Why can't the sorting stay? That's so. That's so frustrating. There we go. <laughs> there we are. And now you guys can see why I do all the scouting stuff off camera. So here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are all excited to be back scouting for me. Because it makes you look good. You find all the elites and I pick them. But where would you be without me picking them? I can pick all the wrong ones. Oh yeah, 97 overall Connor McDavid. 97, number 97. He's 27. Alright, this is the year. This is the year right now, guys. Confirm. Look at Gimme Tacos. At 93. Over. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Such a good contract. He's taking that hurdle money. All right. Uh, Osborne. Also to a really good contract, considering what he puts up. We don't have that much to do here. I just recalled, because we did a Oh, yeah, Benson. This is the big one. I want Benson back. Son of a bitch. Yeah. He's going to have to... Dude, yeah, but look at look at the cash situation. We are going to be up against the wall. Well, I mean, once we trade... Well, yeah, we're, we're going to trade... We're pretty much going to have to trade Nuge. If we want to start moving over to this thing. Because we got to make space, too. A little bit of space. Like Nornan. Yeah. It's still got Yamamoto. Like, yeah, we might even have to make more than, more than a few trades. But... If I could use Benson as my friggin', it's not gonna work anymore. He's gonna have to play like third line. We're gonna have to pick someone up. We gotta get rid of Nuge and free up space for sure. Cyphers probably isn't long term here. I mean, he's he did decently on the fourth line. I just don't see him as a great defensive player. I can keep him there and see how he does, but I don't think so. Zharkov, 79 22, sniper. Not good defensively. If he wants an NHL deal, I can't give it to him. Probably not. I can tender him. And trade him. Meredy does not want a contract, so I'm just going to let him go. Because I, I can only sign him for an NHL. If he doesn't want to come back, I'm, I can't have him. We have to be careful now with our cap. Caleb Jones is our depth guy. And he is a really, really good depth guy. I need to hold on to Caleb Jones if I can. Which I can. For that kind of price. For two years. Holy hell. I don't care if that's one way. That's incredible. I don't know if we'll sign for that. Uh, we had Stevenson for depth. And I think I'd want to hold... Yeah, I want to hold on him for depth. If we have a guy we can get for cheap to play depth, which we pretty much... He wants a two-way deal, which we do. Then we need to take it. We're at that point. Colby Cave. If he does not want two-way, he is gone. He wants a two-way. I don't know if I necessarily want to give him two years. But we do need guys who could play there. And we should not fill up on contracts. We will get a couple new ones, but we could also let go. of some guys here. Done with that. Samurakov. I do want to hold... Well, let me see. Yes. In case Caleb Jones... Something weird happens with him. Oh! Oh, god damn it. Why, dude? Fuck me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to him because I'll be able to. But that that's this kind of sucks. You better want that. Damn it. I wanted to hold on to him because he's looking like he'll be a really, really good second option for depth. Like, look at his defense. 85, 85, 87. That's beautiful. Soften this guy we were using for an AHL ringer. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Affordable. This guy as well, using him as a ringer. He wants a two-way. Just doing one year for these guys, though. Bear, same thing. 
Uh, never mind. Probably not. I'll probably just let go of Bear. Yeah, we have enough. We have enough guys and everyone else. Bye bye. You're gone. I'll keep Mantha though. One year though. There we are. Uh, I'll have to do a count for some of these other guys. This guy is an entry level, so you want that. Yeah, we'll do a count in a little bit. Oh yeah, a few more entry levels coming in. Is that a couple forwards? Yep, forward, forward. And then a defenseman as well coming in. All right, and another forward. Okay, I'm going to release a few more of those guys then. Yep. Turning it over. All right, let's see. Forward end of things. I, I am still going to get Benson. It's going to cost a bit, and I can't get him for two. I'm not going to give him that four years. Right? Yeah, we, we're going to have Outlaw next year too. Fuck me. Ah. Uh, Shit. Oh, man. Nornan. I'm thinking about my main roster right now and how we're going to get around that. Uh, it should be kicking in the new contracts, right? Yes. Okay, good. So we at least have that going. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Well, obviously, we can't afford him. He gets to go off and have fun. Dick bag. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, we have uh, our goaltender squad ready to go here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep Elvis. He'll be the new star. Oh, my God. I hate you. New backup. I'm going to do, obviously, have to do some math on this. Because we need to save every penny that we can right now. Oh, good. One mil flat for two years. That's that's good. That's a good backup contract. We're giving him, we're giving him two years to, to see if he's uh, he's backup material. I really wanted Elvis here, but that's not... I can't I can't pay him real money. I mean, I will bury it. And if I can get him... You know, if I can get him for this and bury it, then I will do it. Because that's not much at all. That's a full 15%. But sometimes they don't do that. All right, let me advance a day, clean some of this stuff up. This is, uh, we're having to be a lot more careful than we usually are. We have so many young guys. Oh, Col cave rejected, son of a bitch. Oh, Stevenson, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lots of rejections. Oh my God. Ah, yep, that's what I'm talking about. Lots of rejections right here. Hmm. All right, how low can I get Benson for? Realistically, mm, not much at all. I'm gonna qualify him for now. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna offer him another deal here, but this is tough. We're in a tough situation right now with Benson. And that price, we wouldn't get great return. Eh, we'd probably get decent return. And we could always match the offer. But I'm worried about the term that, they're, that they'll give him, you know? If he's asking for four years. I don't really want to go above two. Especially with Outlaw coming up. I don't know. Colby Cave. All right. Can we... I'll do one year for you. And it's a two-way, so it doesn't matter that much. Let's try. Chandler Stevenson. Still want... I'm going to do one year. I can't really bump it up. Maybe it's because he doesn't want that two-way deal after all, but I'm going to try it like that. Yeah, Semerkov, this is sucking. I'm going to tender him too. Because if no team uh, offers him, I think we get him for like a really cheap one-year deal. So, <laughs> I'm doing that. All right, um, and you know what? I can honestly let go of some of these guys. Holland, 76, 23. What do you like, huh? Two-way forward. Not bad defensive stats. I want to hold on to that. Let's bump him up a little bit. Oh, wow. I'm actually going to give him that because it's still a two-way. He might actually, depending on how he grows, he might actually be asking for a one-way next year. And I do want to hold on to him because he looks like he could be a fourth liner. And we're going to have to have pretty cheap fourth liners probably in a few years in just like pure defense. We're trying to capitalize on some of the things we got now. All right, you know what? We're going to let go of EC because we did get a lot of entry levels. And we don't... I'm not going to sign him if he doesn't want to come back, honestly, so screw it. 
Just let him go. We still got Holland. We'll still have enough good players there to help out the young guys. Defensively where is where I'm a little bit worried about. And yeah, people noticing that uh, Barry is starting to decline. So yeah, we're up against it. We're having it. We're having a turnover right here. So I think we still got like one more. <sighs> Maybe not. Maybe we should trade Barry now. We'll see what's available in free agency. I was hoping for like one more year of having like a really stacked team to take a crack at it, but that just might not be in the cards for us right now. Yeah. Last year was kind of our like a small, small window, but it's not like we're in bad shape or anything. We're still going to be great. It just might take a couple more years, like at least one more year, one or two more years to be like a true, true contender. Once again, we need Knight up there, you know, we need, you know, we need to figure out our new system. We need a better defensive core, etc. Anyway, one, two. So I'll get back one, one of these guys. Actually, maybe two. Probably two. Because we are going to need depth. I know they'll have some unsigned guys in there, but I'd rather just have a few guys under my, under my books to be able to throw in there. Not that it matters, but... You don't know the overalls of those guys, and I want my HL to be to do well because of how many new young guys we got coming in there this year. All right, more scouts. We got Cave. Stevenson's still rejected. I don't think he wants a two-way. Um, Holland's still... Oh, damn it, Holland. Yeah, he, re he probably... Re yeah, he doesn't want two, two years. Fuck. I had a feeling. But that was the only way I could try to get him. All right, Stevenson. One year. One way. And maybe that. Because he wants a one way more. Let's see. At least that's my thought on it. It's not the money so much as the two way. We'll see. Yep. I can't. I, I bump him up all the way to there, didn't I? Or did I go lower? I could try one more time. I don't think, yeah, I just, I would love to get that extra year. If I can't get it, then I'll, I'll know this time. I thought, I thought for some reason I might have done 925 last time, but I could be completely, completely wrong about that. Yeah, Skinner also didn't accept, so we got to keep that in mind. Two years at one mil. I'll go up a little bit. That was what we offered him. Elvis, same thing. That's okay to bury. We're going to make some... We might actually chain uh, trade uh, Tyson Berry as well on top of Nuge. So, yeah, Stevenson still on it. We got Elvis back, but everyone else is reacting. Yeah, he just doesn't want those two years. So, okay, that's fine. If he does, you know, he, he might break in. All, all, we're, all we're not getting with this guy, um, this this uh, this guy, Holland, is we're not getting an extra year of kind of cheesing. <laughs> so, I'll offer him right there. And he'll accept that. Chandler Stevenson. I'm going to offer him one by one here. I'm going to keep going up with him. Because, again, we need to save every little cent that we can right now. Skinner. What do you like, huh? Why aren't you accepting my generous offers? Really interested to see what free agency has. We got Stevenson, we got Skinner, we got Holland. There we go. We're all set, right? I'm going to double check, but we should be all set. A couple holdouts here. Trying to save as much money. We have 4.9 million to work with. And we have not signed Benson yet. So bear that in mind. I don't think we'll be able to get much in free agency unless we make the trades, which we are likely to do. So in that case, we can get Benson and like one other guy if we trade Nuge. Because Nuge is getting replaced internally. Defenseman is the guy we're going to need to replace. Anyway, we're all good for a line change. So let's see what free agency is going to have in store for us. But before we check, we have to turn off the draft settings. No cheating here, Sin. No cheating allowed. Let's see what is here. Bam. Come on. Big money, big money, right-handed defenseman, <laughs> just for a couple years. That's that's my hope. Can can we become a contender again with one free agency pickup? Come on, come on, come on! I think he's lefty. I think he's lefty. Son of a bitch. Yeah, lefty Murray. All lefties. Perfect. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah, oh. rip. 
R.I.P. God damn it. Okay, well, they're still defensemen, and there had to be three. <laughs> oh, and those are so affordable, too. And they're all four years. You could easily get them down to two or three in, the, in this free agency. Son of a bitch. That would have been perfect, but unfortunately, I could still get a left-handed guy and say fuck it and put him in there. That's still an option. However, we're going to have to pay Outlaw next year. What's the plan here? We're going to keep... I mean, Barry's on that last year, so now would be the time to trade him if we were going to trade him. So, like, what, what are we looking like? We need, we're still waiting on some jumps. Yeah, Barry's got that top six potential. It said top four in the other one, but... I mean, we... Hmm. I think it'll stay at top six, so yeah, he will decline. Now would be the time to trade him with this kind of value. We could also trade him and look for a right-handed defenseman to replace him. We'd have to throw in some extra stuff, but a free agency doesn't have what we need. Trade's the way to go, and I kind of like that idea. Let's not, you know, try to force something through. I still like Riley. Ugh. I'm wondering about what his extension will look like. I might be able to actually do that now, right? It's the beginning of the free agency. Let's see. What kind of extension can we get Riley to? Fuck, he doesn't want an extension. Perfect. Oh, look at the fucking price. <laughs> it's so good. You know what? I can get him for less if, even if he doesn't want an extension. Although, four years at his age, he hasn't dropped yet. I should wait till after the jumps to see if he will lose potential and after we have him scouted. Because if he goes down the top, I don't think he will at age 30. But he's still good. Yeah, it's still worth kind of going for. You know, go down to four years, start him at like 7, 7.5. Even if we get him for like 8 mil, we're not technically losing anything. We're not spending more. Outlaw's the one I'm worried about here. It's not a bad bridge deal. Three years at that price, really not that bad. And Norn, and what is he going to be after? Really not bad either. Not looking like he'll grow too much more. But that's fine if he turns into like a third liner. Might be better than Yamamoto, long term. You know what I mean? Like you have Nornan, uh, Kako in the middle, and Benson, or Yamamoto. Yamamoto is on the better contract than Benson will be on. We have so many decisions to make. This is going to be a tough offseason, guys. Some faces are going to leave, but some will join. Trades are going to have to be made. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep Riley. Wow. This is, this, is, this is interesting. This presents a unique challenge for us. So let's figure it out. What are we going to do here, guys? I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.